Let me tell you about how the band works and how it's going to influence your eating. Uh, we've now treated many thousands of patients over nearly 20 years. We've done a lot of research and we've got some exciting new research on just how you should eat after the band. Our new research has explained really well how the band works. We know now that it doesn't work by blocking. It doesn't work by restricting your food in a crude way. It works in a very elegant way by taking away your appetite. And it does that by squeezing on the very top of the stomach. The adjustability of the band allows us to achieve the right level of squeezing. In that area of the stomach are some nerve endings that can feel that pressure. And they're sending signals up to your brain saying the stomach is full. They think the stomach is full because the band is there squeezing that area. That squeezing is there 24 hours a day and therefore your appetite is reduced for 24 hours a day. You wake up in the morning not so hungry. You can get hungry during the day, a little bit, and so you have a meal. That's normal. We want you to eat, we just want you to eat a very small amount. When you do eat, you take a small bite of food, you chew it well, and then you swallow it and then the esophagus, which is a muscular tube passing down through the chest, will squeeze that bite of food down and across the band. And as it squeezes it across the band, it stimulates these nerve endings that are there even more. And they're sending further signals up. Each bite of food might, might require up to six squeezes to get it across the band. And each of those is sending a signal saying you're no longer all that hungry. That way, after a small amount of food, you're happy to stop eating and you wait for the next meal time.